Hey guys, this is Army Tricks from Game Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a secret hidden base. Alright, so first let's just have a look at how this thing works. It's quite a simple mechanism, so just flick this lever, and it opens up, and you can go down again, and flick it on. Okay, and flick it open again, come up. Alright, so it works pretty well looks nice if it worked if you could see it in slow motion it would look pretty nice and it's completely hidden if you hide the lever definitely or if you'd like a more creative way you can go over and have a look at my furnace bud switch so you don't have to use levers or buttons for this and it's well hidden and everything so it looks and works fine it's pretty easy to build and pretty quick as well and fairly light on resources Okay, so let's have a look at how to build it. Okay, so let's get started. Alright, so first of all, you want to create your two wide area for your staircase. So something like this will do perfectly. Let's just make it day. Yeah, so something like this would do perfectly. Just dig it down a bit and we'll just have it one more perfect now once you've done that you need to get pistons and put them a block away from where the staircase starts so if we just make a little layer like that and lay out your pistons like so do that on both sides so just cut out these blocks and place your pistons along. Now once you've done that you want to get some repeaters like this and cut out these blocks. Okay so because we have five pistons we're gonna make it look seamless and flush so we'll just put the repeaters down along here and we're gonna make it open up in order so this one should be set to one tick this one on two, this one on two, these two on three. And we're going to do that the same on the other side. Now, this is optional, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, it just makes it look nice. Two hit, two on these two, and three on these. The longer you make the difference, the more flush and seamless it looks because it works a bit slower okay now once you've done that you want to place your block right here whatever your block is so that's light blue wool we're not going to be using that you want to have something that blends in with the area around it so yeah once you've done that you're ready okay now just cut out these blocks on either side perfect and lay redstone along on both sides again alright once you've done that we need to hook them both together and we're gonna do this by taking it underground and hooking them up via underground so yeah you just do this break blocks along all the way along now take that underground and hook them together like that now you can cover these blocks up if you want but for tutorial purposes I'm gonna keep them visible for now so you guys find it easier to follow what I'm doing now once you've done that you can just hook it up to a lever but you need a way to get out again so now what we're gonna do is make a hidden XOR gate so dig a few blocks down, dig out a few blocks as well before you do that. So something, an area a bit like this will do. And dig a few blocks more down. Perfect. Okay. Now you just need to start making it. Okay, so we'll do something like this make the shape 
like that. Okay, that's that's your that's the shape of your XOR gate. Place the torches down on all sides. Perfect. Okay, now you're ready to place the redstone. Redstone will go here, 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 and on top of these blocks. Great. Okay, your output's going to be here, so just break this block and place redstone there. Now your XOR gate is hooked up. Now uh, this side you want to hook up to your outside lever, which we could put anywhere we like, really. Um, we could, yeah. Okay, we'll just put it over here. It's not really secret, but it's a tutorial. Okay, just place it down right here and that is your first lever now your second lever needs to be inside so we need to take this underground once again this one's going to go seriously far underground so just keep going underground actually you can't do that because it won't connect just need to do that keep going underground now you can start moving forward a bit great and move to the side and go up try and find out where you are we're a bit too far there up here perfect okay we found the perfect spot great cut out a few blocks and we'll take it around from here over here and we are going to take it up to about here ok that's fine take it up one block at a time one here, one here and one here okay great we'll just move that round a bit and there you go now you can place a block here and a lever here once you've done that you may want to put a repeater here just to make the signal a bit more s a bit stronger just in case it can't reach I'll just put two down just in case um, on this one you don't need to put any, it looks close enough now we can give it a test just cover up these blocks don't need them on show and these blocks over here okay now once you've done that we're ready to give it a try so come over here, flick this lever and that side closes but this side doesn't yeah that's because this is the wrong way around just hook it up again great okay that's fine that works fine uh, let's flick it open and test if it works the other way around so we'll just close from down here because we want to open it from up there and then close it from down here and that works perfectly great now what you need to do is we need to hide it so I'll just show you where you can and cannot put grass or whatever your block of choice is you can't put one here because that will block the redstone signal so we'll just leave it like that you can find a much better way of hiding it I just want to keep this tutorial so short so I'll just leave it like that now you can cover all this because there's quite a lot of space between here and the redstone and there's at least a one block gap between here and the redstone so you can do that you can't do that there, I'll show you what to do there just keep going along you can't do that there either, okay now just go one block up and continue placing these like that and you also want to place one here now you'll do the same thing over here 
three blocks along, like so. Okay, now once you've done that, you just want to make it look a bit more natural. So this side already looks fairly natural. Oops, dropped my grass. Something like that. And maybe the same on this side. Try not to make it too symmetrical looking. Um, yeah, that looks fairly, fairly hideable. Oh, yep, you'll also want to put blocks over here and here. Perfect. Might want to make it a bit more natural looking. I don't know, something like that. Um, something like that, maybe. Whatever you want. Then when you open it, it's open. Flick this one and it closes again. Okay, thanks for watching and that is episode 3 of my redstone tutorial series. Look out for more coming soon and more mod, mod spotlights also. See ya!